In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the classic Irish traditional dance song, Master Crowley's Reel. It's also been known as the Bluebells or as Miss Patterson's Slipper. And originally a fiddle tune, I've adapted it to be played on the mandolin. It's in classic fiddle tune structure, which means we go twice through the A part and twice through the B part and then repeat. And uh, it's been played in many different keys. But today we're going to be playing it in the key of D Dorian. So let's check it out. So, as you heard, a very interesting song. You can definitely hear the Irish undertones in the Dorian mode. and has that kind of dark feeling to it. So, let me break it down for you. Remember, you can pause, slow down, rewind this video at your leisure to make sure that you're picking, up, picking it all up and I'm not moving too quickly through any of the material. Uh, make use of the YouTube gear icon, which will allow you to select the speed of the performance if you want to slow it down and just work your way up to full speed. So to start learning Master Crowley's reel, you're going to want to get your first finger on the second fret of your low string here, the G. Uh, so that note would be A. And underneath that you have your open string there. And you just play back and forth. And add the third fret on that second string. So all together. That's the first part. After that, you're gonna to wanna to get your ring finger on the fifth fret. Uh, middle finger ready to go on the fourth fret of that same string, down to the open, and have your index finger primed to go up to that second. So the second section. So, so far we've got Uh, next, kind of repeat the intro, just that first section, the second fret in the opens. Then we start doing some cross picking across many strings. So you set up this chord with your, your uh, ring finger on fifth fret, middle finger on the third fret of the next string, and you have this open. So yeah, you go down, up, down, up through those strings and letting them all ring. After that, same idea, except with a little less cross picking. You have a second fret up to the fifth fret on the second string. And then the next string, hit that third fret. So. And to finish it all off, you just have a second fret down to open. So, so all together, that first section. Uh, the next part of the first section, you just repeat that. If you want sometimes to get spicy on that last thing, you can go uh, the little hammer on there. It's nice to include little pieces of legato like hammer-ons and pull-offs where you just pick once and go on the momentum of the string. 
just adding and taking away with the hammer on or pull off. It kind of makes it sound more like the bowing technique of the violin uh, from which these tunes are adapted. Uh, so after you're finished playing that part twice through, uh, we move to the B part, which starts with a open strum of your second string, D. And you move way down here to your skinniest string, your fourth string, on the fifth fret with your ring finger. So you go, uh, ready with your middle finger on the third fret, then you go to open and the first fret with your first finger. So I'll just uh, give you an idea there. Strike, first string. Get your ring finger down on the next string, on the fifth fret. And then your first finger again. And down to the third fret. So. After that, you have another little cross pick across three strings. So I go down, up, down, up. You repeat that uh, first section of the B part again. Except this time, you go down to the second fret of that third string. Add the third fret in the open. Go to the fifth fret of the second string. Open on the third string. And then strike open on your D again. It's all together. Repeat that once more. And to finish it off, start open on your second string. Just working your way up the scale. Open, two, three, five, and open on the next string. Back to the fifth fret. And then on the open again, on the third string, Open three, five, two on the second string, back to the third fret, second fret open. So so all together that B section. Oh, and you may have noticed in the playthrough. I like to get a little bit spicy on that first fret on the B section, so I do a little trill between open and one, a little pull off. So you just strum one, hammer on, pull off, real easy. I think a good beginner's tempo for this tune would be about 100 BPM. And as you get better at playing it, I think you can move up to about 145 as your target speed. Uh, it sounds quite good to go nice and fast through it, but without losing any of the definitions of the notes. So uh, yeah, that's Master Crowley's Reel, a traditional Irish dance tune. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and stay tuned for more. My name's Mitch Langdon, Langdon Music Academy.